with the new and improved Eagle's Nest Critter Nest Shelter that will replace the popular debris hut because the debris hut takes a little bit of ingenuity and a lot of time and it doesn't work on the west coast area because there's not a lot of debris. Here, as you look around, there's not a ton of debris. And so all we can do is build a big, huge nest of material underneath us and then try to build walls around it and get into that nest as much as possible. So I encourage everybody to just start taking your feet and um, scraping up as much debris, all the worst stuff you can possibly do. And the best thing to do is to start somewhere as far as you can away where there's a clear line of shot and just do one big long row like this all the way in toward your shelter location. Uh, and this is going to be your bottom layer of your shelter. So get it, start out far and, ha and always be brushing and scraping in toward the, your shelter location. We are going to see exactly in, since we've already started, four and a half minutes how much debris we can get underneath that spot which is going to be on the leeward side of this tree. So we also need some volunteers to take all that wood, which is wonderful that is there so close, and just push it back. Um, we also want some people on the far side of this shelter location to bring in debris from that direction. So again, we're down to like 4 minutes and 15 seconds and we got to bring in as much debris as we can. So you can see that if you were in a great uh, debris location, it wouldn't take much time, but then bad debris. And save those for the uh, top layer. The, those are the best for right underneath it. Do we want to get rid of this? All the Douglas fir boughs, don't put them on yet. Put those on last. Just put them off to the side for now. Okay. Well, remember, the first step on making an eagle's nest or a survival shelter uh, is Put it, position it on the leeward side of some wind block. Second thing, get yourself up off the ground. The reason that debris huts don't work uh, very well in a lot of locations, including ours, is that it took, let's see, 16 people uh, five minutes to gather this much, which is the minimum amount that you would want to get off the ground. Um, the next, so the first step is to get the worst debris, the, near you just raking it in with your feet right there into a big pile so I need a, if that's all the time you had because you were injured or it got dark on you uh, that's way where you would lay or sit all the rest of the uh, night so this moss again this is really good for underneath you but it, it'll soak up a lot of water uh, over the night so we'll need something over the top for step two but say that's all the time you had we need a volunteer uh, any volunteers that want to come and lay on this need a volunteer Need a volunteer. Come on in the lay. Don't, I don't mind oh, laying great. on it. Hey. <laughs> Let's see if this is uh, up. What, yeah, just sort of curl up. Um, or you can, you could just sort of scrunch on it and sit on it, or you can try to lay down on it sideways like, or whatever. Like yoga style? Okay, yeah. If no, you're a yoga kidding. practitioner, you're probably okay. be good all night long. You just breathe through this whole survival. <laughs> so, that's fine right there. Yeah. Try to um, contain. You're going to be losing every place where you're going to be losing heat. You want to try to contain that heat as much as you can. Your armpits, your head, uh, groin, you know, yeah, your breath, better. all that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. yeah. And uh, so that's step one. If that's all the time you have, that's all we can do. Okay, so level two is that we want to get good debris up on top of this. So I noticed that a lot of you found the Douglas fir boughs, which are the best uh, to have uh, in this environment because they're so soft needles go all the way around to really create a lot of elevation off the ground. So let's grab all the Douglas fir we can uh, get in the next, let's only give ourselves two minutes. Okay, so it's been about four minutes gathering sticks and um, you can see that now you could continue if you wanted, if you, again you had yet another five minutes, you could gather a bunch more debris, throw it in there and this time the third layer of debris, again the steps are worst debris at the bottom, second step decent debris that you're going to be laying on next layer up. You have more time. Gather as many sticks as you can uh, and wood, anything you can find to build walls up as much as possible higher than what you've gathered for debris under there. Nice. Go ahead and lay in there and see how it feels. Um, the next layer of debris that you can would be great to find would be, again, these Douglas fir boughs would be fine. Grasses, um, and uh, other things that are kind of like long, 
debris pieces. Leaves. <laughs> leaves wouldn't work so great because they fall off the top of you. And so that's why the debris hut was invented for people that have tons of leaves and all they have is leaves is to kind of keep leaves inside. We just don't have that here. And so very much. So you could those leaves would go underneath you really is the only place those can go. And so now this next layer, now that we have walls built somewhat, we can put a bunch of more debris of something that will stay over the top of us. Fern boughs, tall grasses, more Douglas fir or other kind of fir boughs. Um, and so let's um, let's get somebody laying in there. Go ahead and stay there, Arlo. And uh, could somebody bring those um, bags of grass we've got over there? And uh, we're going to dump them on top of Arlo. You're not allergic to grass, are you? Okay. Great. And kind of clear things out around you so that things are going to stick into you. So that, uh, and then uh, after I pour these on top of them, we're going to build a roof. And we're going to see, how, see whether we can construct a roof. Okay, go ahead and lay down as if you were sleeping. Find a really good spot to actually curl up. And you don't want to have your back right against the uh, tree because it can be kind of cold. There's no air trapped in the tree. So you can't really warm the tree up very well. I mean, you, to rest, you can, you know, lean up against it a little bit sometimes. But as far as those ladies, okay. So nice job gathering all this uh, grass up. <laughs> oh, don't breathe. <laughs> well, you see, this stuff actually stays together. And uh, breathe through your. Uh, by the way, you can put your glove like this to breathe through a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and throw that on there. Uh, let's see if we can actually get a some sort of a shingled uh, um, roof over the top of this. So let's take another like two minutes, see if you can gather more sticks and uh, angle them uh, so that we can at least the point where we can put our plastic bags over us and keep it waterproof. If you can find any bark that we can shingle over the top of that, that'd be great. Oh, got some bark. Am I supposed to get out? Sweet. Uh, no. <laughs> Look at the shingling starting. And of course, for shingling, you start at the bottom. Oh, you get shingles. And now we just need to spend <laughs> about an hour more. gathering more of those. And then you can shingle this whole thing. However, it needs to be on a support system. So then all these sticks would be better, unless you can find a bunch of them to really make Wait, a big lean to. Not quite yet. No. Um, <laughs> I would probably break a lot of these sticks down and just create a uh, sloping roof right here. Um, and then if, if I had even more time, I would shingle that up. So you can see that if you have enough debris, uh, you can actually you can go ahead and get out. Finally. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to try to climb in there unless somebody else wants to. I was saying. So this is an adult-sized eagle's nest. Come this way and I'll help you. No, I want to stay in. We need no. you to come out and then try an adult to get in there. Does anybody want to volunteer or should I do it? He wants to you do it. You do? <laughs> <laughs> Payback. So I get a back look into that nice little rose there. <laughs> if you bring a tent. All right, so I have to say that I really commend everybody's no. effort very much. Um, and I also am very impressed by the multiple cooks uh, trying to uh, design a pot of stew here. Um, yeah, I'm allergic to grass too. Uh -oh. So, oh, are you? I'm yeah, not. Not that bad. Um, He's just dusty. So I'm going to, uh, again, you've, layer one, bad debris. Layer two, good debris, you're going to be actually down in there laying on. Layer third step, put in a bunch of walls as much as possible. Fourth step, get debris that will actually stay on top of you, the longest stuff. At that time, it's okay if it rains on you here, as long as you're down in that debris. Uh, this, this is, this is uh, light enough, there's a lot of air trapped in there where yes, you'll be wet and you'll be cold, but you won't be freezing, frozen. If it snows, great. That'd be even better because that'll actually create an air tight, or not air tight, but a nice air pocket in there. Okay, so we're gonna try, to get, I'm gonna try to get in there. I can get in. Oh yeah, Why great. Why do we do the fire stuff? Here we go. Climb in there, see if you can get totally in there without, and insulate yourself all the way around all sides of you with uh, grass over the top of you. And uh, so get down there so where you're laying right on the fur boughs. Get your feet down in. <laughs> Burrow. Burrow in there. I mean, it's great to just have stuff around you, 
but it's even better to get down underneath it. So you have to get underneath that grass and onto those fur boughs to be, if you want some insulation over the top of it. Pretend like you're a little mouse inside your little mouse nest. Yep, this is exactly what mice do. And a lot of those. I was getting bears. warm in there. Pardon me? Good. Oh, <laughs> your dog can do this? <laughs> we should have him teach him. You know, his name's Marlo. <laughs> All right. Well, it seems like for a short workshop, they may be about as far as we can get. And then you can pull more grass over the top of you. Just grab it and pull it over. And it looks, and I bet the animals can smell it. And because you brought your number one essential, you brought your plastic bag, so of course you can pull that over the top and try to keep the stuff dry as much as possible. Again, it would be better to have a nice little roof built of sticks over the top.